In this video, I will show you how to set up a project in Transit Next for the purpose of uh, translating a small Word document and how to add external resources to that project. Then I'll continue from there. I'll translate the Word document using the external resources that we have added to the project and I'll generate the translated version of the document. First, let's have a look at our sample material. So here we have a, a small Word document uh, in Finnish with about uh, 10 segments that we want to translate into English. Then we have some sample terminology in the form of a small Excel sheet that we are going to import in a Termstar dictionary. For that, uh, we will need to convert the spreadsheet into a text file as, as far as I could see, it's not possible to import directly from Excel into Termstar. So let's do it now. I'll select File, Save As, and as the file type, I'll select Unicode Text. Save. And that's it. Now, if I open my text file in Notepad++, I can see that uh, this file contains the same sample terminology where the Finnish and English terms are separated by tabulators. The second resource that we have is a translation memory in the TMX format. So it looks like this and it's Finnish English again. And we have about uh, 1000 translation units in this uh, TMX. So we will also add this as a resource to our project. So let's start uh, Transit next. When starting Transit, we have to select a role and we can choose from 12 different roles. I will choose Super User, which is the role that will give me the most powers and rights. I want to create a new project. Okay. I want a new project from scratch. Next. I'll call my project Sunto. I'll leave all the other fields uh, as they are. Next. I'll select my source language, which is Finnish, and I'll add one target language in my project, and that will be English UK. Next. Now I'll accept the structure proposed to me by Transit, and I'll click on Next. The file type, well, it's a Word document, so MS Office is just fine. I'll click on Next. And now I can select the files. Well, actually, I only have one file to select, and it's the one which is in the transit folder on my desktop. It's this one. Open. Now I can click on Next. And here is the place where I would add my reference material, so the TMX. But unfortunately, I cannot do it at this stage because I have first to convert it to a format accepted by Transit. So I'll ignore this, but I'll come back to the same place later on. Click on Next. And here again, for the same reason, this is the place where I would add my dictionary. But since the dictionary does not exist yet, I first have to create it. But I will come back to this location and add my dictionary. Next and finish. Do you want to import now? Yes. Here I'll select this option, create files for PDF viewer. I will show you later on what uh, the meaning of this option is. My file is here and I can import it. It's ready and close. For the time being, we will leave Transit and we will go to Termstar, which is the program that manages terminology in Transit. So Transit and Termstar, it's a bit like uh, Trados and Multiterm in the Trados world. There is one program for the actual uh, translation environment and another one for managing terminology and they interact with each other. So again, here I have the choice between several roles and I'll pick up super user. Here I'll select dictionary and I will select import terminology and I will import from a customized format. So I'll first tell Termstar what file I want to import. That's the small text file that I obtained from my Excel file. Open. Next. 
And now I have to specify an import definition. There are three sample definitions supplied by Termstar, but I will create uh, my very own one. So new. Here I want to use as the field separator the tab character. Next. This one is OK. Next. And now I have to tell Termstar what are the fields that I want to import. And the first one is related to finish. So I said finish. And under finish, I'll expand. I'll go to entry and I'm interested in finish terms. So I select term and select. Now I have finish terms. Uh, I will do the same with uh, English. So English UK, I'll expand entry and again term and select. Now I have finish terms and English UK terms. Next. I'll select uh, the format for the date. So let's say this one. I don't need seconds. And next. Finish. Now I will name my definition. So I will call it uh, tab delimited text file finish English. Save and next. Now the source file encoding is Unicode. Next. And uh, I'm asked where, I, in what dictionary I want to import this terminology. Well, it's a new dictionary. And I have two possibilities, either to put the dictionary into an existing database or to create a new database. Uh, I will just choose the second option, which is the default. And uh, I have here three different possibilities for the database. I'll select the first one, term star next. And I will name my dictionary, I will call it uh, Suunto. It has been created and now next. So now it's selected and next. And now I can import my records, finish. Now that's successful. And I can open my dictionary. So the dictionary I'm interested in is this one. Okay. Okay, it looks empty, but if I go to view here, by default it's German and English. Uh, I want here finish. And now that uh, finish is selected as source and English as target, I can see the content of my terminology that I imported from the text file. So I have term pairs like Ayastin, Timer, Alotus Falico, Start Menu, and so on. So my dictionary is ready. I can quit term star. I can move back to transit and in transit I'll go to the project tab, I'll go to settings and in settings I'll go to dictionaries and here I will add the dictionary that I just created. So now I will be able to use terminology in my project. Uh, the second thing that I want to do now is to deal with my TMX translation memory. For that, I will go to reference material here. I will select TMX interface, import TMX. I will point to the TMX that is on my desktop in the transit folder here. And I have to tell transit where I want the language pair obtained from this TMX to be put to. So I'll select here. This is the location of my project, Suunto. I will create under that folder, I will create a new folder that I will call reference. And I will put the language pair here. For that, it's not very intuitive, but uh, I have to give a file name. So I will use the same file name as my uh, TMX. And I will add the extension fin for finish which will be one of the two files of the language pair. Save and start import. Now it's OK and close. Now if I open my project folder, so it's under my documents and transit next and project and Suunto and reference, here I can find two files one with the extension ENG for English and the other one with the extension FIN for Finnish. And this is the language pair that is obtained 
from the TMX translation memory. So Transit does not, unlike most other translation tools like MemoQ, WordFast, Trados, and so on, does not use directly translation memories. Instead, it uses what it calls language pairs. And this is a language pair with two components, one related to the source language Finnish and the other one to the target language English. So now I can go back to my project settings. So project and settings. And here under reference material, I will add a folder. And this is the folder that I just created in the previous steps. So reference and open. So now this folder, which contains the language pair obtained from the translation memory in the TMX format, this folder will act as a translation memory. So it's like you would select a second TM in MemoQ or WordFast. And OK. And now what uh, I will do, last step, I will open the language pair. So that's, uh, the language pair is actually the document that we want to translate. So I click here. And this is my document. And OK. So now we have the document that we want to translate. The interface of the editor of Transit is a bit different from uh, other tools. So wh while most other tools like MemoQ, WordFast, DejaVu and so on have a vertical layout, so two columns, source segments on the left and target segments on the right, Transit has an horizontal layout. So you have the source segments on top and the target segments on bottom. And the target segments, for the time being, they are populated with the source text. So that is the default behavior. But we'll stop here. And in the next video, we will see how we can translate this small document from Finnish into English using the resources that we just added. So terminology from our Excel sheet and uh, the content of the translation memory in the TMX format that we converted into a transit language pair. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.